It's 3 p.m. now, so it's time to enjoy our afternoon tea. The afternoon teas are usually served from 3 p.m. until 5 p.m. So come on with me. Hello, I'm Jamila Musaiva, an international social etiquette consultant and an author of the book Etiquette, the Least You Need to Know. Today, we're in a lovely Four Seasons Hotel in Baku and we're going to be talking about the afternoon tea etiquette. Before we go into the details of the intricacies of the afternoon tea, I'm going to be telling you about the history of how it originated. The inventor of this idea is deemed to be Anna, one of the ladies in the waiting of Queen Victoria. In 1840s, uh, she would get very hungry before dinner time because the dinner would usually be served around 9 p.m. And in summer times, it would take too long and she would get really hungry. So what would happen is she would request to be brought some bread and some tea and some goodies to be eaten before dinner time. So this tradition carried on from Anna and today around the world we are experiencing the lovely tradition of afternoon tea. There are different types of afternoon teas. There's an afternoon tea, the one we're just seeing right now. There's cream tea, there's also royal tea and there's also high tea. Don't confuse afternoon tea with high tea. The difference is that the afternoon tea consists of sandwiches, scones, desserts, and tea. And it's usually served at a low table, usually coffee tables. The high tea is usually more extensive. It includes meat dishes, desserts, foods. Uh, so it's usually more like a meal and it's served around 6 p.m. The cream tea is the simplest of them all. It's just the scones, the clotted cream, the jam, and tea. The royal tea is the very good one. It's the one with a glass of champagne. So in case you wonder, why do you really need to know about the afternoon tea etiquette? So apart from being served in a lot of hotels around the world and a lot of nice restaurants around the world, this tradition of having afternoon tea can be experienced at Royal Ascot and polo matches. So what do I wear to an afternoon tea? Uh, the rule is, it's not too formal, so don't take out your long gowns. Uh, you can stick to a cocktail dress or usually the smart casual. What I mean by smart casual, it could be jeans, but you should add a touch of nice jacket or a pair of nice shoes. Um, definitely no leggings, no yoga pants, no ripped jeans or sneakers for that. Um, anything between formal or casual would do. So you would be offered a tea at an afternoon tea, no coffee. What kind of teas will you be served? There are different kinds of tea, like the black tea, which is a very fermented one, Olong, which is partially fermented tea, green tea, which is not fermented at all, and white tea, which is the rarest of them all, and it's somewhere between Olong and green tea. So, once you've been served with a tea, you'll expect a three-tiered rack. On the bottom, you'll have sandwiches. On the second, you'd have scones, clotted cream and jam. And on the third, you'd have the desserts. No cupcakes, just biscuits and tarts. What else can you expect to see on your afternoon tea table? You would have cutleries, a fork and a knife, and a small plate. You'd have a cup with a saucer and a little teaspoon. You would have lemons, cut and sliced, You'd have a tea strainer that looks like this. You'd have a teapot with tea. You'd have cold milk and sugar with sugar tongs. In afternoon tea, only one person would be designated to pour the tea. It's either the host or the hostess. If you are the guest of honor and you are asked to pour tea, that means a great honor is given to you. The hostess would ask you, would you like your tea strong or weak? If you say strong, your cup would be filled with tea three-fourths. And if you say weak, then half of your cup would be filled with tea. The rest would be for additional hot water. If then you are asked, would you like some sugar, lemon or milk? If you don't want anything of that, you just say plain. That means you're not going to add anything to your tea. 
but if you would want sugar and milk, first you should add sugar and then milk. If you want sugar and lemon, you would first add sugar and then lemon. That's because it's basic chemistry. If you add lemon first, the citric acid from the lemon will prevent the sugar from dissolving. So you first add your sugar and then your lemon. The big question of an afternoon tea etiquette is what do you fill in first, milk or tea? The truth is you'd first add tea and then milk. But back in the days, people would usually pour in milk first because milk would prevent the fine porcelain that the cup is made up from cracking. So you would add a cold milk first and then tea. But today we all have fine porcelain and it's better to just pour tea first and then milk. So now about the tea. When you're served with a tea, expect to get it in a teapot. Also, no tea bags. This is why you have a tea strainer, which looks like this and prevents the loose leaves from falling into your cup. When it comes to your cup, don't expect to get a mug. You will be served with a saucer and a cup, but no mug. So, if you're having green or long or white tea, never add sugar, milk or lemon. And if you're having Earl Grey, don't add lemon to it. Generally, the teas that have additions to it or have special flavors to it are not to be mixed with sugar, lemon or milk. And definitely never add cream to your tea. So what would you get in the three-tiered rack? Number one, on the bottom, sandwiches. In the middle, you'd get scones with clotted cream and jam. On the third, you'd have your desserts. So why do we start with sandwiches? It's meant to clear your palate. The sandwiches are usually made of cucumber, egg, salmon. They're usually quite plain and they're meant to clear your palate before you start eating scones and desserts. These sandwiches are prepared using either white or brown bread and the edges of the bread are cut out. Uh, you would get the shapes in rectangles and in triangles and squares. Uh, they're called finger sandwiches for a reason, because you're not meant to eat them with fork and knife, but you're meant to eat them with your fingers. So you might ask, what is a scone? A scone is a quick bread that's originally from Scotland. It's usually served with a clotted cream and jam. What goes in first, <laughs> jam or clotted cream? You can do both ways, there is no wrong way about that. And now the final, the most delicious part are the desserts. Well, regarding the desserts, you'd expect to get a tart, a biscuit, uh, but never a cupcake. So if you're having an afternoon tea with a group of people, and let's say you don't want to have sandwiches, then don't rush forward to have your scones. Just wait for everyone to finish eating their sandwiches, and then all together you can enjoy your scones. Another important item of an afternoon tea etiquette is a napkin. Well, it's an important item in all dining etiquette. You would expect to get a 12 inch napkin, which is around 30 centimeters. You'd place the napkin on your laps, folded in half. If you are going for a bathroom break, you might leave your napkin on a chair to demonstrate that you'll be coming back. If you're done with an afternoon tea, you just fold the napkin in two and place it on the left side of your coffee table. So now let's enjoy our afternoon tea. First, I'll use this tea strainer. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the strainer, put it on my cup, then take the teapot and pour the tea. The strainer is there to make sure that you don't get leaves in your cup. You put back the strainer and then I'm gonna add some sugar. I'll take the sugar tong Take the sugar cube, never drop it in the middle because that will create the spills. I'll just drop it by the rim of the cup. It doesn't make any noise. Put the sugar tongs back. Take my teacup with a saucer. Use this teaspoon to stir the sugar. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir it in a 12 to 6 or 6 to 12 motion, which is back and forth, never circle, until the sugar cube dissolves. Once you're done stirring the tea from 12 to 6, 6 to 12 motion, back and forth like that, you take your teaspoon, place it on a saucer behind the cup. Now I would like to add some milk. So 
So now I'm about to enjoy my tea. If I'm seated down and I have a coffee table, I never lift the saucer up. I just take my cup and move it towards me. I tilt the cup, not my head. Tilt the cup. When I drink the tea, I look inside the teacup. I don't look over. If you happen to enjoy your afternoon tea on foot, let's say you're at a Royal Ascot or an Apollo match, you would lift both the saucer and the cup. You'd place the saucer on your hand and use the other hand to lift the cup to enjoy your tea. When you're having your afternoon tea, make sure that you're holding your cup correctly. Your index and your thumb should be holding the handle and then your middle finger should be supporting the cup. Just like this. So now I'm about to enjoy the sandwiches. I'll take the sandwich with my fingers because it's called the finger sandwich. I'd plate the sandwich on the plate and then use the fork and the knife to cut it into two. That will just make it easier to then consume it using my fingers. As I mentioned earlier in this video, if you're enjoying afternoon tea with a group of people, you'll wait until everyone is done eating their sandwich. Then you move to scones. Since I'm alone in this video, I'm done eating sandwich and now I'm moving to scones. So I'm taking one of the scones using my fingers. Because the scone has a crack, a dent in between, I'm using this area to crack the scone into two parts. I now put the scone back on my plate and using my fingers, I break a small piece of the scone. But if you like your scone with jam or clotted cream, you'd first put the clotted cream or jam or both on your plate and then apply it on a scone. So finally, we have arrived at the dessert rack. I'm gonna use my fingers to put this little tart on my plate. And then I'm gonna use the fork and knife to cut it into a small piece and enjoy my dessert one bite at a time. I've done eating my afternoon tea and now it's time to say goodbye. I take the napkin that's on my lap, place it on the left side of my plate and leave. Bye!